partisan politics that are pushing important issues to the sidelines. Fox News contributor and Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan joins us now. So you're not happy with the, uh, the deal? Or, or well, does it actually underscore your contention with Washington? Listen, listen, Joseph, obviously we all have relief that the government is going to shut down at the end of the week. I mean, we've now, this is now the third of these in five months, and, and it really does cause a, a lot of problems. So I guess I'm breathing a sigh of relief to that extent, but not so much that I think we've actually solved anything here. We've kicked it down the road, as you say. The fundamental issues about how we're going to pay for government going forward have completely not been resolved, and the two parties are, if anything, further apart than ever. So, I, you know, this, I, I, I don't disagree with you. I mean, these continuing resolutions are nuts to think that we, I mean, we kicked it down the road to November, you know. Right. So we're okay for it to the middle of November, yeah. and then we're back at this drama again. And, yeah. But uh, what happens? How do, you, how, do, how do we come up with a solution? Because this is not new. We've actually been going through this sort of drama for a long time. And, and, and I hate to be the, the voice of negativism today, Charles, but, but as we get closer to the election, all of this stuff gets harder. As the financial squeeze gets tighter, you have to achieve more in order to solve it. So, so I have to tell you, sitting right here now, short of some gigantic crisis, it's hard to imagine that given the political pressures that these two parties face, that they are going to be able to find some reasonable compromise in the middle. I, you know what? I don't know what it is. But I tell you what else bothers people, too, because maybe they won't find reasonable compromise, but it looks like if they pull up a few sofa cushions, they can find a billionaire to billionaire. <laughs> There's just so much money sloshing yeah. around that, you know, oh, by the way, you know what? We do have a couple billion laying around. Yeah. That's frightening to think that our government's being run that way. Yeah, and it's maddening, too. Where's that billion in the Hennigan family couch, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about at the Payne house. I don't know if you're finding that stuff. But no, you know what it does, really, is that it undermines the public's confidence in all of these budgetary numbers, they've all become so politicized, they're all there to promote some kind of point of view, that the day when there were actual numbers that actual people could believe in, I'm afraid that's history.